first. Terror in the sky. Meteorites slam into the earth. Over a thousand people injured. The shock waves blowing out windows and knocking down walls. All of this just hours before our planet faces another close call. Imagine seeing something like that streaking across the sky. NASA calls this the biggest meteor to hit the planet in a century. It happened in Russia in the town of Chelyabinsk, about 900 miles east of Moscow. The people there thought they were under attack. We have Team 7 coverage. Dave Rexroth will be along answering our questions about this strange event. But let's begin with Glenda in the Satellite Center now. Glenda. Well, Joanne, Jeff, I mean, as you said, imagine this. You can see it. There's people driving who caught video video of it, but it came racing into our atmosphere 33,000 miles an hour. And as a result of this meteorite exploding in Russia, there's about a thousand people seeking medical treatment right now. And many people just thought they were under attack when it happened. It came out of nowhere, a blinding flash of light streaking across the sky, and then the shock wave of a meteor splintering into pieces, the blast shattering windows throughout the city, even knocking down a wall at this zinc factory. Witnesses thought they were under attack. Yeah, yeah. On the streets, chaos. Officials say nearly a thousand people were injured, most by broken glass. NASA scientists say this was the biggest meteor in a century, over 7,700 tons. Much of it burned up in the Earth's atmosphere, but fragments slammed into the ground. The biggest chunk smashed right into this frozen lake. No, it's no small event, uh, and it just shows you that the destructive nature of, of some of these objects. What NASA says it was not was part of this asteroid called DA-14, which buzzed dangerously close to Earth today. The giant rock is not expected to make impact. An estimated 100 tons of space material enters the atmosphere every day, but most of it falls harmlessly in unpopulated areas. GFX, the National Safety Council, estimates you're nearly twice as likely to be struck by lightning than hit by an asteroid, but it's still three times more likely than being injured by fireworks. Our own meteorologist, Keenan Smith, talked to a rep from NASA today. In reality, basketball-sized meteorites come in almost every day. Now, this one happened to be much bigger than a basketball. But the pieces are everywhere, and we're, we're, we've got scientists on their way now, along with Russian scientists that will be on the scene. And about 20,000 troops being sent in to help some very terrified and cold residents tonight. Many of them windows shattered when this happened, and temperatures in parts of Russia will be well below freezing tonight. NASA going to try to make sense of all this, and we'll keep watching that. Dave, Joanne? Yeah, quite a story it is, Glenda. Thanks so much. And we do want to turn to Dave more now for more on this. You mentioned that asteroid. Is it related to this at all? No, it's not. I mean, coincidences are coincidences, yeah. and it seems really weird to have this, but it's not like it was a chunk of the asteroid that broke off and came in. It's a separate, completely different issue. The asteroid has got an orbit, and we'll have to deal with it from time to time, but uh, this was just the meteorite. was just a one-time thing. As you heard the expert there say, it happens all the time, but this one was much bigger, so it didn't just entirely uh, burn up before it got deep into the atmosphere near the surface. All right, Russia really no stranger to meteorites, Dave. They've been hit before. I mean, why Russia? Uh, and more there than most spots. Yeah. Uh, if you think about the, the uh, Earth and you look at what's going on back here, you've got a lot of water. Well, of course, when it hits there, nobody knows. But Russia, in terms of just the square mileage, is the it's biggest huge. country. And so it gets hit more often than other places. Not necessarily to do with the magnetic poles or anything like that. It's just big. Let's look at some more surveillance pictures we have now from inside businesses as shock waves just blow out windows. I mean, look at this. And as we mentioned earlier, some people thought they were under attack. They had no idea what was going on. But let's just talk about how often do meteorites actually hit the Earth. Well, we, we meteorites are the ones that actually hit the Earth. Right. Meteors are the That's ones right. that we see as shooting stars and burn up. Uh, this one happened, in, as you say, the biggest in a century. We also heard that NASA experts say that about a basketball size or yeah. smaller happens almost every single day. But they burn up usually before they get down to the Ground, and the bigger ones actually hit, but they don't make the kind of impact. It's not a, a linear scale. You know, the bigger it gets, the stronger it gets the energy, but it goes up very, very quickly. So a little difference in size is a huge amount of energy difference, and that's why we see this. Here's an interesting fact for you, though. Yeah. 100 tons of meteors hit the atmosphere 
every single day. Wow. But they're the size of grains or dust and they burn up, of course. We don't even know that those are going on, but right. it happens all the time, just usually not this big. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, fascinating stuff. Thank you, Dave.